So let's talk about the giving half of the circle. Just as we have a need to receive and put our desires first sometimes, there are also times that we need to set aside what we would prefer and make a contribution to someone else's well-being and enjoyment. It would be a pretty sad life without that opportunity. So the giving half of the circle is about that. The quadrants here are giving or serving, in which the gift that you're giving is your action, and allowing, in which the gift that you're giving is access to you. In both of those, you set aside what you would prefer, and you keep your responsibility to have a limit to what you can give and what you're willing to give. And that limit is your responsibility. The more you take responsibility for that limit, the more generous you will be. And that is the perhaps ironic thing about giving, is that the more clearly you take responsibility for having a limit, the more generous you will be within that limit. Because you're no longer guarding and worried about what if they want too much and what if I give them too much. What a limit is about is this far and no further. Or I can give you this much, I can't give you that much. Or I can give you this thing, I can't give you that thing. So the question for you when you feel some resistance to an opportunity to give is not what's wrong with me, I should be able to give that, or you know, why, aren't, why can't I give that? The question is, what is it that I actually am happy to give? What is within the limits that I am happy to give? That's a very different question. So if you feel resistant to giving, don't blame yourself for not giving. Ask yourself, what is it that I actually would be happy to give? And there will be something there, even if it seems small. Uh, if it's given, that's why the examples and the lessons are, is this a gift that I can give with the full heart? And likewise, if you find yourself feeling resentful, the question that I usually ask myself, and it's always pretty fruitful, is what did I not say no to here that I wanted to say no to? Um, so that in both of the, the giving quadrants, you get to learn how to do that and what a joy it is to do that. So what happens over time as you learn to take responsibility for having a limit and to notice what your limits are, to trust them and to value them and to communicate them, what happens is that you become trustworthy to yourself. And then you begin to trust yourself. And as you begin to trust yourself, then you become very generous and you become very fluid and flexible in what you actually are willing to give because you're no longer afraid of not honoring your own limit there. And that's when giving becomes a lot more fun and a lot more satisfying for both of you. So the key then to, to giving and the key to generosity in giving is taking full responsibility for your limits. It's easy, of course, to be stuck in giving, which usually really just means that you are avoiding receiving in its various forms. When you are good at giving and giving is easy for you, it means that you take full responsibility for your limits and then you become, uh, then you trust yourself, you become generous and you become very flexible and fluid and you become very relaxed about it. Because you don't, you're not attached to what it is that they want or whether they, what they do with that particular gift. If you have something that you want them to want, that's not about giving. That's about something that you want, in which case you need to take responsibility for the fact that you want it, which means you want to receive, so then you need to ask for what you want. When you are clear about your giving, the question is not, well, I wish they would want this. The question is, 
what is it that they do want, and am I willing and able to give them that? Very different question. And when that's more clear, then your giving has integrity and a lot of heart in it, a lot of fun. So then in the, back in the circle, the giving half of the circle, the giving or serving quadrant in which the gift that you're giving is your action, and the allowing quadrant in which the gift that you're giving is access to you. You're giving yourself. And everything that we've just said about giving applies to both of those quadrants. Your responsibility for having a limit, that creates your generosity and your flexibility, all that. So um, life is very rich when uh, you can give and give with a full heart. Hope you enjoyed playing with it.